Good morning. <clears throat> Today I'm going to remove this this heater that's um, hooked up to the coolant system of the of the bus. And the first thing we're going to do is remove this protection on both ends. If I can get this loose. And I've seen other videos where people just flush these outside in a bucket, but. Um, I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to um, refill all the coolant. So I came up with the other solution. I just use some old metal scrap, and I just put this on here and clamp these shut so that I don't have very much spillage. There will be some because the coolant is in the heater. But this way, make sure you don't hurt the, the hose, and I do that on both sides. I do need a bucket for later, because there will be some spillage. And this is not good. Shut at least a little bit. Now I can unscrew these things and put the bucket underneath somehow. Nope, it doesn't work. Line is too short, so that's why I put cardboard underneath. And this is loose. Loose as well, so I can be really careful not to spill much. There we go. All righty. list. The next we're gonna do is I purchased some couplings. They unfortunately had only one left in the longer version but well I have to deal with that. So now we have to put the where's the other clamp? We need to have this on first and kind of cut the cut the hose so it just loops through each other. Like so. Right. 
so this way I hope to not have to add a whole bunch of coolant and at least make it back to the service place where they service those buses. Okay. Now we can fasten this. pretty good. Now I can still have heat in the front.